What's up everyone, Arctic here, and we are jumping into Infinity Blade 2 on the iPad 2. And uh, this is basically from this, the, the start of the game. You guys know I introduced you guys to the game with some dual wooding action on my main character. I started a new game, uh, which you can create in the character uh, selection screen. Now, with this video, the audio sync for this is going to be a little off. Um, but I'm basically, this is like an intro to the game, more so than what the uh, first one was. Uh, you play as Cyrus, I believe is his name, and uh, I don't know who this chick is right beside him, some companion he met along the way, but she wasn't in the first Infinity Blade. I kind of introduced her off the fly and just put you in this pseudo-Japan-looking themed area, and he's on the quest for the Worker of Secrets, uh, who will somehow grant him knowledge on how to defeat the Deathless. Now, the Deathless are basically characters in the game that are immortal and pretty much rule the entire world. So um, I don't know what my character's main goals are. I, I would assume uh, based on the introduction and from the previous one, he wants to defeat all of the deathless and the worker of secrets apparently knows how to do that. So uh, you guys asked to see my fingers going to get some finger action going, introduce you guys to the game. Now, uh, my particular class right now, I'm level one, um, and I am using a sword and shield, which is the default. Again, there's dual wield and heavy weapons. Uh, I'm going against a level one shade. Uh, and when you start off in the game, it gives you some pretty good um, instructions on what to do, which you guys are going to see here in a second. So holding to block when you have a shield, you can actually block attacks, which you guys see me do there. Uh, it's just going to repeat that kind of process. You guys see me tapping the uh screen to control your actions so like i was saying in my uh introduction to the game it's really skill based so you know if it, it's pretty much your own fault if you get defeated by uh an enemy character uh, once you learn their moves it really becomes um kind of like a game between whether or not you can dodge parry um or block the enemy so right now i'm doing parries that's not in the instructions um uh, for this i you know I, i've already played through several times now so um i'm kind of a little bit more advanced than that but you guys see um swiping on the screen actually performs combos uh and the scratch attack which was what that mentioned happens like in between a um an attack or sl slightly after an attack you get like this little window to do a scratch attack which basically is a non-factor or non-damage or big damage uh, attack. It's just like a grazing blow. It does a little bit of damage. Uh, once you get high attack, you can kind of put in some work if you can, um, you know, get a whole bunch of scratches in. That sounds <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Uh, but if you can get a, a number of scratches, scratches in throughout the fight, it kind of works really well against some opponents. Uh, now, the big thing I'm waiting for is multiplayer. I did not play any multiplayer on the first Infinity Blade. Uh, and it's supposed to be coming here soon in an update on the second one. Now, we are going up against a level three Kabuki. Uh, this is a dual wielding enemy. Remember, I said you guys can also dual wield. So pretty much anything you see uh, the enemies use, you can use. I guess that's, a, yeah, that's pretty much a pretty good assessment. You guys see I'm using the dodge. So that is on the left and right um, corners of the screen. Uh, you guys see me pressing, dodging like a uh, dodging fool. I don't know who dodges a lot, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I'm dodging like whoever that dude is that like a thief dodging like a thief. Yeah, there we go. Thief in the night. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, left and right dodge. Uh, and then you hold your fingers in the center to uh, block. And you guys can only imagine with uh, I have the, the adapter in on the screen. You guys can see it in the far right corner. But with the HDMI cord in there, it's really difficult to kind of hold this. As I was mentioning in my first comment, it's kind of funky to hold it and uh at the higher levels when they the guys are attacking fast it kind of makes for some mistakes and one thing i did notice and some of the slash attacks they don't actually match the direction of where you're actually sliding so i imagine on an iphone it could be a little cumbersome um to me it's ideal on the ipad now uh, after you level you can uh put different uh skills to your health attack shield or magic you guys see i leveled up my attack and health on my main character, I uh, typically go all attack, but maybe on this playthrough, I'll 
mess around with some magic and shield and all that stuff to make a well-rounded machine. Although I prefer going all out attack. It's just me. Um, so I de defeated those two guys. Now we're going inside this lady's palace or whatever it is. And, uh, you guys can see as I was walking through each area, I was kind of tapping on the screen, picking up gold. It's, uh, just like a little mini game that they have helps you collect items, gold keys, um, just random stuff, health files, which you guys will see here in a second. Uh, the game looks absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at this. This is an iPad game. Look at it. Look at it. Sick, right? Just sick. So between each fight, you guys can see I can look around. Um, I spotted that little piece of gold there. Saw it shining. Got picked up another piece. And you guys will see this frequently throughout the game as uh, we go through it. This is level four Ronin. Going to get waxed. But I'll be picking up gold items throughout using that camera um, to see my surrounding area. So pairing is probably my favorite thing to do now. Uh, especially once I started using dual wield and I, in the first infinity blade, I did not really parry at all. Um, I don't know why I didn't, I, I just, it wasn't very fun. I just preferred to dodge, which was, I guess that was the cheap tactic that you could do repeatedly, which is why they made it a lot more difficult to dodge on this one. But, uh, you know, parrying is definitely a lot more fun. Uh, now once you get to higher levels and the characters start attacking faster, uh, pairing is pretty difficult to do, um, so you have to kind of mix it up. You guys see I just tore this dude up with the combos. My finger was sliding all over that screen, just wax on, wax off, just going nuts, Mr. Miyagi style. My finger action. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing. That's what she said. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. Uh, picked up some more gold. You guys see now for each area that you want to advance to, you have that little circular indicator on there. You tap that, takes you to the next advancing area. And uh, the lady up there sent a Big Chunky after me. Now, this is what I want to know. Like, how can Big Chunky watch what he's going to do? He's not going to walk down the steps. He's not going to walk. He's going to jump all the way down those steps. I don't think that's very realistic. I'm sorry. Dude, that big, you know, he wouldn't jump down the steps. He'd walk. Come on now. Let's be realistic here. Just a little bit. This fantasy world where big guys can jump like that. Get out of here. So, yeah. Um, now, pairing big guys, uh, it's a little bit different. Sometimes they have animations. That, now, this particular character model, I, I think I mentioned it in the first commentary. Uh, the, this particular character model is from the first one. So it's att attacks are, you know, the same for me. Um, now I'm using a super on them, which is in your top left corner of the screen. It builds up by uh, your attack damage or by the damage that you receive. So um, once you have that bar f filled up, you can unleash a devastating attack. Um, sometimes you have to mix it up though. Sometimes you can get off a few attacks and still while they're stunned and then use a healing spell Magic's on the right side. I got all my stuff in the way, so you guys can't really see it. But once you perform a magic uh, spell, you guys see you just draw on the screen itself of what the symbol is, and it will perform that attack. So I just did a fire spell, or was that fire? Ice. Fire or ice? I don't know what that was. Um, and uh, did some magic damage there. And then you have the on-screen tap screen. So sometimes you get into a um, like a duel where it's tied and whoever can tap the fastest will win. I mean, you'll nine times out of 10, unless you tap really slowly, you'll beat the computer. So it's not that difficult. Can't wait to see how it is um, online. Um, gems, now for gems, you set those to um, different weapons. You guys see there, drag them into different slots and it adds various attributes. So this one is giving me plus 100. Now, if you try to take them out, it costs quite a bit of money. The higher the level, the more money it costs. So that's a plus 100 um, for the water uh, element and uh, cost 28,000, which I don't even remotely have anywhere near that. But uh, what you can do is if you guys want quick money and basically buy your way to beating the game, you can purchase gold. You can purchase gold. 
I don't recommend doing it because gold is all over the place. You can earn quite a bit just playing, you know, a few run throughs. Now, this is the boss lady. I don't know how you pronounce her name. She's level 10. Guys, can't really hear the dialogue or else I would tell you because it's out of sync. Um, but basically, she, she, uh, your character uh, Cyrus asks her where the Worker of Secrets is located. And uh, she's like, well, first off, she asks for you to join her little terrible squad because you just whooped all of their asses. But um, then she's like, well, what do you want? And he's like, I just have a question. Then he asks her where the Worker of Secrets is. So she tells him says whose child are you which immortal's blood do you have in your veins answer my question the vault of tears the place once known as seranthia due west past the sea in the mountains to the north but you won't get there i guess <laughs> so battle commences she's throwing out now this is one thing that was not in the first one these um characters jump back the enemy characters jump back and then um they do those spells that was not in the first one so that was a, it threw me off the first time i played that and i saw that i was like whoa what's happening um you guys see i did a parry stab there so sometimes after you have a successful parry it will give you the opportunity to make a stab um and with the dual wield you can do multiple stabs so i really like that one so i finished her up real quick real fast like put her out of her misery, cut her throat with some water ice effect as well to add to the sting. Also got another level up. What am I going to put it on? Uh, how about level up my attack? Cause I like leveling up my attack and my magic. There we go. Um, so I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but, the audio is out of sync, so I have to tell you anyway. Um, so I put the Infinity Blade in there. The Remember, the story is called Infinity Blade, so that blade is very important. And the God King, that's him. He's alive. You see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I killed her. Mm-hmm. Yep, you can thank me for that. Uh-huh. He of course he still lives. He's a deathless, silly. Can't kill a deathless. Only the worker of secrets knows how to do that, obviously. So now the God King has back his infinity blade. And he will not fight him like a man. Oh snap. Oh, snap. You ever see that long pause when, like, the villain is about to do something and then it doesn't happen because they take too long? Just stab him already. Then the mysterious girl comes out of nowhere, shoots an arrow to your head. What kind of bitch does that? <laughs> and, uh, you're back. Alive. You gasp. What? What? What's happening? How am I alive? Oh my god! And so the story begins. Now I promise, guys, the audio will be in sync for the rest of this series. Infinity Blade. Six months later, I'm back. Let's go. Let's get it popping. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.